there are so many people right now on YouTube that are preaching and they are saying that God gave them a word for this year and they are using the word suddenly. And that is something that I was saying at the beginning of the year. I got that from the Lord too. Suddenly, I got immediately and what? Suddenly, immediately, what? Ascension means to go up, to rise to a higher place, to ascend, right? It's called breakthrough, you guys. When you experience sudden immediate breakthrough, you have ascended. You are the head, not the tail. You are above, not beneath. You understand because what? Because of breakthrough. Why? Because you tried hard. It came from the Lord. Listen to this story about um, Paul and Silas. They had just in Acts chapter 16, there was this slave girl in verse 16. She had a spirit of divination. It means, in, in this Greek word for divination, it's where we get the English word python, like a snake. It's Puthon, Puthon, where we get Python. So he, she had this Python spirit, right? And um, she brought her owners a lot of money by fortune telling, right? Fortune telling is divination for telling the future, uttering spells. The Greek word is mantu omahi, mantu, mantu omahi, fortune telling, giving spells for telling the future, uttering spells, divination. And she followed Paul and Silas and kept crying out, these men are servants of the most high God who proclaim to you the way of salvation. I mean, she wasn't lying. These men are servants of the most high God who proclaim to you the way of salvation. The way of salvation. Well, what is the way of salvation? Yeshua, Jesus. And this she kept doing for many days. Paul, having become, having become greatly annoyed, turned and said, not to the girl, he said to the spirit, mm -hmm, the spirit of divination that she had, this python spirit. He says, I command you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach to come out of her. And it came out of her that very hour. Now, the owners of this girl, they got super upset. And what did they do? They, they had Paul and Silas put into prison. Verse 25 of Acts chapter 16, about midnight, Paul and si Silas were praying praying and singing hymns, humneo in Greek, humneo, it means to sing the praise of, to sing the praise of. So they're singing hymns or singing the praise to what? To God. And the prisoners were listening to them. So now others are hearing them. They're witnessing this praise that Paul and Silas are giving, although they had been what? They had been beaten with rods in verse 22 of Acts 16. They were beaten first with many blows in verse 23, and then they were put in prison. So they got, they got beat up really bad. Have you been beaten with rods by other people, by the way? Have you? Have you had a bunch of dudes gather around and, and beat you with baseball bats? hit you in the head, hit you in the back, hit you in the legs, hit you everywhere with baseball bats, right? That's what we'd call it today. And then they were put in prison. And what does Paul and Silas do? They pray and sing hymns to God. You think that they'd be complaining. Why'd you do this to us? Why did you allow this? Kind of like today. You know how many people I know that are Christians that are losing their faith in God because of this thing, this thing, this COVID thing that's going around? Why'd you do this? You got me so scared I had to get the you-know-what put in me twice. And I got to get more you-know-whats to keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Right? But Paul and Silas, they weren't complaining. They were singing. They were praising God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Prisoners must be doing like, what the heck is wrong with these guys? But here's what happens. Here's their breakthrough. Verse 26. And suddenly... And suddenly, suddenly is ethno. It's used three times in the New Testament. It's suddenly and unexpectedly. Ethno. So suddenly, unexpectedly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, that's another word that the Lord gave me. Suddenly and immediately. Sudden, immediate, right? Immediately, all the doors were opened and everyone's bonds were unfastened. Immediately is the Greek word parakrema. It means instantly, instantly, immediately. All the doors were open and everybody's bonds were unfastened. There's your ascension. They went from being locked up to now, hey, we're free to go if we want, right? 
But Paul didn't. Paul Paul didn't allow. It. He used to say, you know, because one of the jailers woke up and 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 he was ready to kill himself because he saw that the prison doors were open and he thought everybody escaped. But Paul cries out in a loud voice in verse twenty eight, "Don't harm yourself. We're all here. Don't harm yourself. We're all here." You talk about sudden, immediate ascension. Now I want to tell you something. I want to share something else real quick that kind of goes along with this. And speaking about the year 2021, if you go to Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21. Now the thing is, there's there's King Jehoshaphat, who's the king of Judah, and Judah means praise, by the way, in Hebrew. He it means praise. He's surrounded by all these armies. These armies are coming to kill people of Judah. And then in verse 17, they're told, you will not need to fight this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation. Or in Hebrew, the Yeshua, which is the name of Jesus. That's why his name means salvation. See the Yeshua. Yeshua, Jesus' name. Uh, see the Yeshua of Yahweh on your behalf, O Judah, O praise, right? And Jerusalem, the city of peace. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed tomorrow. Go out against them and the Lord will be with you. So what happens? They fall on their faces to the ground and they do what? They start worshiping the Lord. And then they do what? In verse 19, they stood up and they begin to praise the Lord with a very loud voice. Now, here's the thing. In verse 21, 2021, it says, And when he had taken counsel with the people, he is Jehoshaphat. When he took counsel with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him in holy attire. You and I have holy attire. We're clothed in his righteousness, right? So we can sing and praise, praise and we are clothed in holy attire, the robes of righteousness. And it says, as they went before the armies and said, give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love is chesed, which is his grace. Hmm. Chesed, it's grace. Steadfast. His grace endures forever. The Hebrew word for grace is chesed. Chesed. When you see in, in Greek the word charis, which is grace, everywhere in Greek where it's charis, in Hebrew it would be translated chesed, his covenant grace. But here's the thing. They went before the army. The Hebrew word for went is yatsa. And do you know what it means? It means to go up, to rise, rising, to go up, up, up. So they went up, they rose, or what else? They ascended, another form of ascension. Why did they ascend? Because they were singing praises. And when they sang praise, all these armies that were surrounding them, they took, they, they killed each other. Where Judah didn't even have to fight. The, the armies of Judah didn't even have to fight. All they did was sing praises. And guess what? Something changed. Suddenly, immediately, there was a change. It looked as if they were about to be defeated. It looked like they were about to die. Just like today. It looks like we're defeated us believers it looks like the enemy is going to be victorious it looks like it second chronicles 2021 20, it looked like it if they were to to see things with their carnal eyes it most definitely looked like a time not to praise but a time to fear a time to complain a time to murmur a time to cry a time to worry, a time to let anxiety in. And that's what we're doing. So many people that, that, that they say they're believers, but they are in fear. They are letting worrying and anxiety come in. I know so many people that used to talk about the Lord to me that say they're Christians. I've even gone to church with some of these people gathering together, praising him, laying hands on other people, people that are sick, laying hands on them, believing in the Lord for healing. But suddenly this virus comes. Suddenly this, these riots come. You know, all we have, it's almost like the, if God gives you a word, it's not almost like it. It is like it. God gives you a word, sudden immediate ascension, right? 
I know it's three words, but I'm saying the word of the Lord. And he's saying this word suddenly to a lot of people. They're seeing sudden break breakthrough. The enemy is going to put um, roadblocks ahead of that breakthrough so that you won't believe in it. Do you understand? He's put stumbling blocks, walls, so that y y you're like, wait, I thought I'm going this way and there's a wall I can't cross. That's what happened with Paul and Silas. See, this little this girl that was uh, had a spirit of divination in her that was making money for her owners. Paul finally had had enough. She might be speaking, you know, they're leading the way to salvation. They're they're te they're showing people the way to salvation. Okay, that's not a lie. We are showing people the way to salvation. But she's blah 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 blah, loud 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 all the time. And Paul finally had enough. He knew, he knew what was in her. And he commanded that spirit of Python to get out of her. And it did. And she was released. And now she can't do that divination stuff anymore for the owners. So you think that there was victory. A person got healed. A person got released. A person was free from this oppression that came from the devil. But what happens? The people that are working for the devil, using divination to make them money, go be a fortune teller and tell people stuff and we'll make money from it. Which happens today, right? New age, all that stuff. Fortune tellers, they make money off of people by telling you the good stuff that's gonna happen to you or even warning you of the bad stuff that's gonna happen. How many people go to fortune tellers? A lot. And now they lose their money. So what do they do? They actually get, not only do they get Paul and Silas to go into prison, but they get them beaten too. Let's beat them up with rods. And people did. Okay, let's all gather together and beat them. So you think that because there was a, a ascension, a sudden immediate ascension, Paul and Silas, they're there. And Paul releases this girl through the power of the Holy Spirit that is inside of him speaking in the authority of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, what happens? They're put into prison. See, that's when the, the, the enemies, okay, I'm going to show you what this, this is all about. You think you're going to ascend? You think there's going to be sudden immediate victory for you? You think there's going to be breakthrough? Watch this. And he puts, he puts the roadblocks. He comes against it. Do you understand that? He comes against victory so that you'll fall victim to, to, to complaining. And Paul and Silas, they could have. They could have said, hey, man, we just did your will. We just released this girl in your name, and now you get us beaten up and thrown us in prison? But they knew it was the work of the enemy. So what did they do? They did what Judah did. They gave praise. And when they gave praise, what happened? The victory came. All the jail doors were open. What? Everybody's bonds, their, 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 their shackles just came off and the jails, the prison cells were opened. That's pretty awesome. That's a great display of the power of God, isn't it? Everybody got to witness it. All the prisoners that were there, they got to witness it. Man, maybe we should be giving the Lord praise instead of complaining all the time. You're going to experience breakthrough, my friends. But breakthrough is not going to come by complaining crying out to God, why, oh, why hast thou forsaken me? Even though your emotions say so, even though the enemy wants you to say so, he wants you to speak with your words the, the bad report. He wants you to murmur and complain. When God says, you know what, the breakthrough comes when you believe that you are victorious because of me. Even though it doesn't look like it, believe it and then sing it out loud stir it up in you. How did Samson, how would Samson get his strength? Do you remember how Samson would get his strength? He would go shake himself. He would stir it all up. Something about shaking and stirring it all up. Just like that guy, the ultimate warrior. I don't know if you remember that wrestler, the ultimate warrior. That's what uh, ultimate Mordecai means. Mordecai means warrior. I get people saying, don't you know you're going with it? Mordecai means the false god of Marduk. Well, if you go into the Hebrew and study enough, you'll see that it actually it's a name that means warrior, okay? 
So this wrestler called the Ultimate Warrior that was wrestling in the WWE back in the 19, you know, late 80s and early 90s, and then went on for a little bit more to do it. He would run to the wrestling ring. He would run from the dressing room, full blow, just charge out there, and he would jump into the, the ring, and he would grab the ropes, and he would shake them up! That's kind of like what Samson did. He would stir it up, that power that God gave him. He would shake it and stir it up. Our praise is our way of stirring up that power of Christ that is in you. That victorious breakthrough that is in you. But we got to stir it up, my friends. Just don't, don't, don't go lock yourself up and hide somewhere and complain and cry and be in fear. That's exactly where the enemy wants you. And the enemy looks like he's going to be victorious, right? You're thinking, man, even all the politicians, doesn't matter if they're on the left, even on the right, they're all, they're all seems to be just going toward what the enemy, corresponding in alignment with the enemy. The media wants you to fear. The politicians want you to fear so you'll submit and succumb. Even religion wants you to do that. Because there's a lot of religious stuff that's it's for money. You're making us lose money if you teach the truth. Don't do that. Just like those guys that owned that slave girl that had the python spirit, fortune telling. So they want to keep you in fear so you'll submit. They don't want you to praise. They don't want you to have the victory through praise. What did David do? David stirred something up before he threw a rock at Goliath with a sling, threw a stone at his head, a smooth stone. He had five stones, but it only took one. And there was sudden, immediate victory, not only for David, but for all of Israel. That giant suddenly, immediately went down. He descended. It seemed like this giant and, and the Philistines, they were going to wipe out Israel because they had a giant on their side and everybody's scared of just that one guy, let alone the Philistine armies. But then young David comes out and what does he do? He gives praise to his God the God of Israel, the Lord Almighty. And what happens? See, Goliath is boasting about himself, I, I, I. But David says, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. And when David threw that stone with his sling, that giant suddenly, immediately experienced descension along with the rest of the Philistine armies. And Israel suddenly immediately experienced ascension because now they were victorious because one young guy decided to give praise one young dude didn't look at that giant and say i'm so scared that's so scary he didn't even look to the giant he looked to yahweh his god and got the victory all through praise you guys I know it's easier said than done, but that's how you're gonna experience your suddenly, your immediately, and not descension. We're talking about ascension, rising up, rising up, breakthrough. I hope this message is blessed to you guys. There's a lot of other people that are seeing it. And it's amazing that that scripture, Second Chronicles 2021, 20, when we're in the year 2021, you want your sudden immediate victory? You want your sudden immediate breakthrough? You want your sudden immediate ascension? Give praise. Give praise. Praise the God. Praise the God that we have on our side. The victory is already ours. Even though you might physically not be seeing it with your carnal eyes right now, but in the spirit, your spirit sees it. So move in alignment with your spirit give praise. All right, you guys. God bless you. I love you all. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.